Hey guys, this is Steve. So the tech, uh, I'm gonna talk to you today about our passive mixer. Well, we've got a new version, a 2.0 version of the mixer that has some uh, resistors in series. And I wanna show you the difference between our old mixer, passive mixer and that version. Um, the original one that we had had no resistors in series, of course, other than the pot. And what that ends up, ha what ends up happening is that there's interaction between the other potentiometers on the mix and whatever channel you're using. So for example, let me show you. It's kind of loud. And if I turn up channel two, for example, that resistance will actually end up shutting it up. The benefit of this way without resistance in series is that you can actually get a hotter signal. So it's kind of, it's not like one way is necessarily the right way, but um, I think we're moving over to the resistor uh, series because of the lack of interaction. If you need a mixer that will give you more power or be more accurate from your input signal, you probably want to get an active mixer. Um, so this is the one that has resistors in series with it, and you'll see what happens. If you turn it up, not nearly as loud, but if you turn up like channel two, you'll notice there's no, or three, there's no interaction between the other pots, which actually I think is probably a better design for um, for a passive mixer. Anyway, just kind of wanted to give you the differences, so now you know.